Hello everyone, welcome to a, another Alpha Console video. This video is not an Alpha Console update, but more of a Rocket League update. This is a feature that has been sort of requested or asked about for, for quite a long time. It hasn't really been possible um, until now. And in all honesty, in all honesty, my uh, my complete dumbass um didn't even think to check for this simple feature um when this got released so <laughs> so you can blame me for this being uh for this not coming out as soon as possible um so i suppose there's not really way, any way to uh sugarcoat it let's just uh let's just get right in so when I say it hasn't been possible before, uh, until now, what I'm referring to is the eSports decals, the new ones this season. So if I was to go to here, decals, and what I've been working with to test is complexity. So let's turn this on. Now, as you look at the skim, you can see the difference in reflectiveness between the body color and these sort of highlight decals and the name. As I spin around, you can see uh, the body is a bit more shimmery. Um, the logo has sort of this artifact in that you get with uh, skin decals. And the name itself sort of stands out a bit more. This is what is now possible. Let me see if I can get a, uh, a better one. I'm sure there was another one. I think that's the wrong one. It is. That's the wrong one. This one. Here we go. So you can see here the body is sort of like a matte color but the lines um these blue lines are more anodized this is what is now possible with custom decals and what that means is it, it's fully custom before it was the decals were it was either on or off right so the decals were either standard matte like a, a normal decal um, it would be sort of a full body glossy look or a full body anodized look. Now you can literally have this anodized effect on your custom decal, non paintable. So the paint isn't, whoops, shit, there it goes. Back as mod. So the paint you can't select from here. It, it's, it's pure reflectiveness, pure anodized. Um, but this is what you can now have. You can design your decal with this um <laughs> as i said my dumb ass didn't even think to look for this um parameter already inside alpha console um i thought it was an, a new one that had to be programmed um but it's not it's already inside so yeah let's uh let's fucking get right into this so this is so to uh to emphasize this what we're doing is I have created a second Fennec, um, second Fennec, oh my god, a second Falcon Octane decal. This is my concept, uh, Falcon decal. And the reason I'm using this is to purely emphasize the, the difference between the body and the, the decal itself, right? So the black would be the body, the green would be the decal. So this is the this is what it would look like. Everything is standard, no real effects. However, if I was to go to blue and then apply the complexity. Shit, which one was it? Is it this one? Hey, there we go. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> I hate this. Uh decal complexity. There we go. Oh, that one. There we go. So now you can see the difference. The body is still matte, but the decal is now anodized and shiny and everything. Now, the only downside is, is that you do have to use the actual decal itself of the, of the um, Rocket League decals. And as you can see here, it's fucking up in backers mod, which is, uh, which is a shame. But if you own it, if you own the decal, if you own the complexity decal or any other decal, they 
all the um every single esports decal the new ones they all have this these new parameters so as long as you have one of them you can set your your json file up for that and it will work no problem so let's get into how to do this what we need is your standard diffuse so if i was to show this this is the folder here is the standard diffuse which i would would be using um and then what you would need is to create a new skin now an old skin i don't think i actually have one handy to show um Decals, decals. If I do, I'll just open one and invert it. Octane. Uh, hidden decal. Yeah, let's just open this and invert it. Curves, alpha. Boom. So this is a standard skin. This is what you would use, or a straight. Uh, oh shit! No, not bandits. Decal black, or a straight black, or a black with the blue windows that is the skin you would use normally this isn't that you need to create a whole new one excuse all this <laughs> you need to create a whole new one purely for this to work so i want that and that this is my falcons decal and these these new skins um are piss easy to make so what you would need is your base image so your your base color needs to be full blue so this is it here blue 100 red and green are at zero full blue and what we'll do is we shall make that oh shit shift b there we go we shall make that the base color Now, anything you want to be anodized or have this reflectiveness, you want to make full green. As you see here, green, 100, red, blue, at zero, full green. Now, I already have this set up, so what I'm going to do is do a um, bit of a long-winded way to get this decal to be actually green. Um, so bear with me a second. Colorize color to white. Boom, boom. I can't do color to actual green because it won't be an actual green. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop that until it disappears. I zoom in a bit, up a little bit more. If I go too much, you can see it gets darker. We don't want that here. So I'm gonna OK that and hide the green. So this is now what you want. Your base for the car is blue and your decal, anything on your decal that you want anodized or to look anodized, you want green. And this is exactly what we have. So if I was to go back into my Falcons folder, see here is my decal and here is the new skin that we have just made. So what we're going to do from here is come into our JSON folder, uh, JSON file, I should say, and we're going to need to play around with this. This is a standard diffuse and skin. This is what you would have always made for your um, decals to work. However, with this, you need to make a new diffuse and skin parameter. Now, I already have that down here somewhere. Uh, this is the original, so Octane 1. So this is the parameter you want. This is your diffuse. So your 1 underscore diffuse underscore skin. And you see here, I've got Falcon's Octane, which refers to this. This is our new diffuse. So it's the same diffuse image but on a new parameter. 
This is the old parameter, which we are no longer using. This is the new one, one underscore diffuse underscore skin. Now, the green and blue, well, like this one, this needs its new skin layer, or parameter, I should say. And that refers to this, two underscore diffuse underscore skin underscore mask. And that goes to our new, uh, our new skin, which is the blue and green. And as you can see, our old skin parameter is no longer used. And as I mentioned before, what you need to do is assign it to the eSports uh, decal you are using. So the one I was using in this example is 8366, which is the complexity home, I believe. Comple complexity oh, away, even. Number two. Now in the um, in the Rocket League Wiki server uh, database, there is a link or not a link, but a um, text file with assets, asset IDs. I will update this as soon as this recording is done. I shall update it with the new um, with a new file, and all the new esports decals will be in there. You just need to go through it and search for them. So this is now what you need to do. And to go further from there, if I was to paint a bit just underneath Falcons, the word Falcons, if I just do this and export this. Decals, Falcons, skin, replace. This is going to take a while purely because of this, how large this, uh, this GIMP project is. Export. So as you can see, I've now got Falcons and then have a green splodge underneath. If I'm coming to Rocket League. You see how it's just Falcons is sort of like reflective. If I was to refresh this decal, there is our green splodge. <laughs> And that is now reflective as hell. So if I was to undo that and resave it and refresh the decal, that green splodge has now gone. It is that simple. <laughs> it is that simple. All you need to do is have a new diffuse parameter. You can literally just overwrite this. You could go just, if this is your standard diffuse, you go one underscore diffuse, come over to the end, underscore skin, and you would do the same for the skin. You would do two underscore uh, diffuse, underscore skin, underscore mask. And that's it. You're all set to go. All you'll do is replace your old skin layer with your new one and possibly your diffuse if you need to. So if I was to create one for the Fennec, uh, where's the Fennec? Here's the Fennec. I would do exactly the same as what I just done for the Octane. I would create a whole new blue uh, base. And then this, I, I still have the original assets in my um, in my image editor. So for me, it's easy just to convert all this green. It'll be easy just to convert into a proper green color. Um, and that's it. That, that's it. <laughs> so I would like to clarify a few things. Probably one thing, really. This isn't anodized paint finish. You're not going into the garage. You're not selecting the paint finish from the drop down. This is this is more along the lines of reflectiveness. That's why I've tried to emphasize that side by side. It, it's it's reflectiveness, not a paint finish. Um, 
I've also tried with the color yellow to sort of get a uh, a middle ground, and I've tried with a, a lighter blue. They both give the same sort of effect. There's no, you can't get like a a middle ground like a glossy look, uh, unless unless I've missed something, unless I've missed something, which is which is uh, completely possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that that's it. That's all you need to do. Again, you need to equip the decal, your the new esports decal that you anyone it doesn't matter which one. Uh, you need to equip one of them, and then go into your JSON file, set that skin ID uh, for whatever decal you you are using. Rename your diffuse and skin layers. Make a new skin, and that's it. You are good to go. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have great fun with this uh, <laughs> with this new ability. And uh, yeah, I shall see you hopefully soon. Take care, everyone. Peace out.